Mario. Get out of the way. So just want to follow up with you on what you could or couldn't do for receipts. I just hadn't heard I back from you. No, I have no way to get receipts. Okay. I mean, All right. The only way I could do it is if I print off every single receipt that somebody comes in from here going forward to produce. Okay. Um, and, and so like Scott Emery is kind of the same way over at Rocky Mountain Moonshine. But Scott was just able to like kind of show me and detail me like, hey, this is how I'm not able to produce something. Um, so like I said, like I just hadn't heard anything from you. So I, right, you because know. I don't have any way to comply with what you're asking for. Um, but I also would like to know, are we being accused of anything at this point? Uh, so you, yeah, so every every liquor store, so it's not just your liquor store. Yeah, but just for me specifically, I don't care about the other liquor stores. I'm okay. talking about my liquor store. Yeah, so are you're being really accused of selling to Tony Chia. Yes, you are. Okay. I want to end this conversation right now and talk to my lawyer before I deal with anything else. Okay. Because I'm not going to put myself in jeopardy because I know we didn't sell to sell to Tony Chia. All right. I would reread that paper that I served you. Because it says that if you don't produce this or produce something by 5 p.m. tonight, you're in violation of the regulation for when we request your books and records. And so... I don't know how to produce it if I can't. And that's fine, Marty. That's why I'm saying. That's why on, on uh, Friday, when I called, when we talked on the phone, I said, hey, I'll come in tonight. Show me point of sale system. If you can't recall it, you can't recall it. And when I came in here, you weren't here, and then I never heard anything from you. So if you don't answer the, the, the demand for business records, I just have to imagine that you're ignoring it. And so if, if, you, if you can't produce it, that's fine. Like I said, Scott Emery's in the same boat, but Scott's been able to show me point by point and show me how he's not able to produce those mm -hmm. receipts. You've, you've given me nothing, Marty. So um, that, that's, that's on you. Um, if you if you don't want to produce it, that's fine. We'll just I'd move love forward. to produce it, but I can't. Okay, then then write me a statement, Marty, that says for these reasons, I contacted my credit card company. My point of sale system does not keep anything. I don't keep a physical inventory. And, you know things like that. You know, give me something, Marty. But just telling me no is 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 not anything I can I can work off of. So what would you like me to produce right now for you that would comply by five o'clock? So if receipts you, that I don't have, right? So we're missing each other here. So, like what Scott did with me down at Rocky Mountain Moonshine. It doesn't involve Scott. It involves my store and what I can produce and what I cannot produce. Right. So show me you can't produce it. Show me on your point of sale system that you can't go back and show me when these things were sold or that you can't recall a receipt. Whether or not I can recall a receipt. Okay, means nothing as to like what was sold. Okay, I mean you can look and see that I don't even have that wine. I know you, you don't. You know I don't. Yeah. So it wasn't me selling it. Right. So so now we're looking at the vodka and we're looking at the beer. Everybody and their brother has that vodka and beer. Absolutely. I, and when the other liquor stores have provided me receipts and they haven't sold that, then guess where it leads me back to. <laughs> so listen, you talk with your attorney. I will. Um, and like I said, if we have to go forward with an administrative hearing for not complying with well, that, there's no judge's signature on there. I didn't see anything. It, so. it doesn't have to be. It's an administrative privilege, Marty. Okay. If you understand anything about the liquor world, that's administrative privilege. There's nothing that goes through a criminal court. It's through the licensing authority.